So I've been having all kinds of uh, light primer strikes. It's probably not gonna focus for you to see, but that's Winchester Super X. Uh, this is the SIG P322. And we're in the Bowers can. Let's see how it does. Let's see what that one is. Really light primer strike. Like really light. You're gonna break your extractor. Haven't been having too many of them failures to feed, but we'll see what happens. Oh, that one's in there good. <laughs> that sucks. Got it. Super light, like really light primer strike. Another one. And another one. And another one. And I don't know, I didn't catch that one, so I don't know where it went. So now I got, I think, what, five from a magazine of, uh, of 20. Let's see if we can get them to work. Look at that last one. So now that one has two really, really light parameter strikes on it. Isn't that shitty? That has three light primer strikes on it. So something's definitely wrong with the gun. That was uh, supersonic ammo. So it's a lot quieter when you use subs. Let me go get some subs, we'll try that. CCI standard velocity, it's uh, subsonic at 1070 feet per second. And a light strike. So maybe the CCI is that good ammo that it can take a light strike and not have an issue. I don't know. Now that one's got two light strikes on it. A lot of people say their slide doesn't lock back. I, for some reason, I don't have hardly any issues with that. Uh, the only issue I'll have slide locking back wise is I can use the slide lock on the left side of the gun, works fine. But the one that's on the right, let me see if I can get this so you can see it. And I'm trying to hold ammo in my, pocket, in my hand too. So if I use this one and I hold up on it, as soon as I let it go, it'll drop it. And it's just a piece of stamp steel that's in there that's formed into the thing to lock it. So I get it. Sometimes it's not going to be bent the right way or maybe got bent out of spec. It's 
just minorly annoying. But I'm not left-handed, so I can I survive. Fuck. Alright, let me pick those up. Alright, so now we got Federal American Eagle. These are 45 grain, uh, 970 feet per second. The other one's both uh, the CCI and the, uh, I don't even remember the other one. I was shooting. Give my brain a minute. Winchester. We're both 40 grains, so this should be a little bit different. Pretty quiet when you're not shooting steel. Let's uh let's do something I don't recommend and we'll trap one of those and see what it looks like. We'll do it against the log because I like my hand. All I'm gonna do basically is hold the slide from cycling. You notice how quiet that is? And then now we can look at that brass. Man, that is a super light strike. But it still went. And locked the slide back. So here's what I think needs to happen, even though I don't think it's possible. Rimfire is just unreliable. I mean, it might help if my gun actually strike the primer hard enough to make it work all the time. But imagine if we had like center fire 22, but it, you know, it's really not possible. It's so small back there. Now that you can see it on the camera. But 25 ACP is, I guess, the smallest diameter of a case that is able to be center fire. But imagine if these were center fire and it would work way better oh this is that same federal again it's pretty quiet didn't lock the slide back but there's no mag in there so don't worry it's really quiet into the woods didn't lock the slide back that time but with subsonics if it doesn't lock the slide back it's not the end of the world all right let's see if we can get some uh this is that federal let's see if we can get some pov shooting even though it's super hard i mean i'm looking at a blurry dot on a blurry video feed <laughs> it's not gonna be possible I mean, it is for me to put the gun over out of front of the phone for me to actually see the sights. But for you to see it, it's not really possible, I don't think. And can you tell how dirty that is? Look how dirty this thing is. That optic, all that, you know, crap just comes straight out of the... Port and goes straight onto the optic. And this is what I did the other day, being stupid. I uh, I rubbed it with a cloth, and I didn't know that that lens in there is plastic. It's scratched up so bad, but it's still usable. It's not my like carry gun, so I don't care. Now, if there's not one in here, that means we went through a whole magazine without having an issue. That's awesome. All right, so I'm going to go pretty far away and see if I can hit that target.
Oh, I should have said that I'm actually aiming for the target in uh, the center. See those? Uh, I don't know if you can be able to see the other one. Oh, yeah, there you go. So there's three. There's one over right there. That's the farthest one away, and that's the closest one. All of them cycled, or all of them fired. Let me show you where I was standing. Hold on. I was standing all the way right here. I'm gonna have to walk over there. You can't tell what's what. So I was standing pretty far away. Standing right here by where this tree used to be. So from here to the farther away one, I don't know, let's walk it. That'll give you a sense of how far away it is. I don't know. Maybe Santa will bring me a rangefinder. Oh, maybe sure for size reference, let me show you how big those are. That's a pretty small one. That one and this one are both the same size of target. They're just like random shitty plates. So, but they work. And this one stops 5.56 five, as long as you don't shoot it in the corner like that. But let's go get that out. <laughs> 